Yep, see, bananas, not clickbait. They fire bananas, not clickbait. It's time to get bananas. <laughs> Do you remember that video that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago where archers and missile units would fire explosive bananas instead of normal arrows? Well, um, I asked if people wanted to see it as a campaign and it was actually my most requested campaign ever. So this is going to be a, a two-part miniseries. It might even be one part. I, I don't know. We're going to cause a lot of chaos here. Now, this mod, it's also going to be going to be made public as well, so link will be down below in the description or the comment section and there'll also be a mini tutorial at the end of the video as well. Um, this mod, it brings in banana bombs into the campaign, only for Jerusalem though, um, other factions they won't have it and that's what we're going to be playing as today, just playing as Jerusalem. So yeah, let's begin. Oh and last but not least I want to say thank you to Amazef for making this mod. Uh, the first banana mod and then bring it, bringing it over to campaign. Alright, so we're in the Crusades now, playing as Jerusalem. I've, I've only ever played one Crusades campaign before, as Byzantium, like two years ago, so I'm not that familiar with where everybody is, but I know, I know the Egyptians are down here and they're going to be our first target. Now we don't start with any banana units at all, I don't think. Ah yeah, we, we do start with some some banana men. Alright, so here are the four, no, the three different banana units. So we've got normal archers, and then the weakest banana unit, the banana archers. Uh, banana archers are the basic archers for Ju Jerusalem. Shooting innocent fruits at their enemies. Innocent until they hit and explode, harder than an exploding cannonball. Banana archers, I love them. They've all got their own custom names. Next level up, Banana Men. Banana Men are excellent crossbowmen, shooting curved yellow fruits around, which doesn't sound dangerous until they explode mid-air and destroys everything beneath them. And then we got the Super Bananas, the big one, the Nuke. Banana... Ba bananas. Yeah, Bananas. Like Gunners, but Bananas. Okay. Bananas are the pinnacle of modern warfare in the 12th century. They shoot strange yellow fruits that confuse the enemy, <laughs> but then explode and destroy in a mile's radius with nuclear fire. Oh, I can't wait to get some of these. Now, these can only be trained in the in castles, I think. Yeah, but these others can be trained in any um, in any mot and barely. Cities don't get them. We just get normal units in these. Alright then, so let's let's start recruiting some troops, get some bananas on the field. We'll, go, we'll focus mostly on the crossbows, I think, they're the better ones. The banana archers we can use, but yeah, we should be fine. Oh no, we don't have, we can't train them in Tyra, we need to build a boa first. Alright, get that under construction. We can get all types here, so let, let's get the bananas, the big nuke ones. Yeah, let's get a bit of everything, all bananas. Now, I actually forgot to say at the start that we're not allowed um, other units. This is a banana-only campaign, so we're only allowed banana troops. Uh, I forgot to say that at the start. Uh, can we get... No, I can't get banana mercenaries. Right, so get him in Karak. We need to make sure that settlement there is safe. Right, our surf should be safe as well. So, yeah, let's just pile up a load of banana troops. Yeah, you go in Tyra. Right, get our fleet... Yeah, you use it to scout down south down here. That's what they can do. And the spy, I'll make sure we're safe over here. I'll build some watchtowers around Karak as well. Right, what can we build here? Ah, oh, we can upgrade it to a wooden castle. What does that allow? Right, practice range is where we get the bananas. So yeah, let's upgrade it to a wooden castle. And farms everywhere else. Alright, so we can't get any more banana men, so then we've got to go for banana archers. Alright, so we are going to have different types of uh, banana units on the field. Alright, Karak is an important settlement, so we're going to leave... Yeah, we'll leave our banana archers behind. Ooh, that's... Actually, we might leave a few troops behind. There's a lot of Egyptians coming this way. Alright, we need to be prepared. Antioch, I think we should be safe from, but let's try and get along with Antioch. Uh, just a little bit more, right, try and get map information. Yeah, just keep peace with Antioch and we should be good. 
Destroy the Egyptians, that's our main fortress. Alright, good, we've upgraded. So now we need to upgrade... Um, we need to upgrade to a practice range. Oh, we need a castle. Oh, so we need to still continue upgrading these settlements further. Okay. Yeah, that's, that should be fine. We should be good. Alright, the Egyptians are pulling back. Good, they're not pushing on us now. Okay, I think our army is almost ready. Let's just check. So we've got our crossbows here. Alright, yeah, keep those banana men in that settlement there. Um, let, yeah, let's bring the faction leader. And what else do we have? Yeah, leave the faction air behind. There we go. So we got loads of banana men here. Let's bring those onto the front. Actually, I might split these armies into two. Send one south, one this way. They should be able to deal with the Egyptians. Alright, next focus is to make sure we've got enough banana men everywhere so that we're safe. Because I don't want to lose any settlements. Ah, just as I start making my move, I bring some troops. Alright, yeah, let's split the forces into two. Alright, Asif, we can convert to a village. Let's get the money out of that, because these places are castles now. Improve these, so that, that we get the full banana men. Alright, good, I think, I think we should be safe on this front. Alright, we get to upgrade Jerusalem, yep. Get working on that next turn, we got loads of money. Alright, we'll attack that army next turn, we should hopefully be able to win that. What do they have? Yeah, we should be able to win that one. We got banana men after all. Alright, and then we got this army here. A general, one unit of bananas, three banana men, and two banana archers. They're willing to fight it. Okay then, let's get our troops in position. Alright, here we go. The bananas, uh, they, they don't have fire at will and I've turned it off because I don't want them firing yet. I want to see if just these units here can handle this, just to see how they do. Alright, the Egyptians are over there. Alright, the enemy is in range. Load your bananas. Can't see the enemy, they're somewhere behind that hill. Yep, see, bananas, not clickbait. They fire bananas, not clickbait. Right, let's see what these bananas do. Right, so these are the ones that explode in midair and drop. Oh wow, it's like a first world war minefield. Come on everyone, fire in your bananas. No, we're getting friendly fire. You idiots. <laughs> Just piles of dead bodies. Boom. Alright, in come all the bananas. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of bananas. That squad swiped. Yeah, we don't even need the banana gunners. <laughs> Just those units there are fine. Oh, we're getting so much friendly fire. <laughs> that's half our army gone. <laughs> Oh, the idiots getting all that friendly fire. Alright, come on, fire the next wave. Alright, we've got the cavalry on the flank. They might actually get us here. No, why are you bombing over there? <laughs> I think they was aiming for those. Come on, take out the cavalry. Right, good. They're actually working on the cavalry now. Get those on the flank, though. You focus on them. Right, that's a little bit too close for me. I'll just take those out. Right, we killed 64% of them, but we've lost 54%. Boom, right, good, we got them. Right, back to fire at will. Come on, you got to deal with those, the missile cavalry. Right, I think loose formation might be the strategy to go with here. It's working, but it's not working how I expected. We've got a lot of friendly fire. Boom. Oh, they caught up to our troops. Right, get them out of there. I, I think these archer units here will be better as a garrison unit. Right, last one. Come on, get some bananas on them. We haven't even used the banana gunners yet, the big ones. These are just for weak units. <laughs> oh, look at the camera shake. <laughs> Alright. Almost done, we've almost got them all killed. And that's 
is the first map, so we killed. We we won the battle and we killed them all. Let's just finish off sending in some bananas. Oh really? Our general died. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we got friendly fire, you stupid units. Right, get me out of that battle. After the battle as well, why did I click continue? We killed one of us, but we lost 650. <laughs> right, yeah, just execute those. But we got a man of the hour, so it's okay. Right, they can move south. Yeah, so that's what this mod is, and remember to stay to the end, because that's when the tutorial to download it is uh, going to start. So if you want to download this and play for yourself, uh, just the tutorial bit will be at the end, and the link to the mod will be in the description below. Alright, so they're coming at me with two armies like this now. These troops here can focus on defence. Right, move up to the bridge. I've done the fighters on the bridge. Be stupid if I did. Yeah, they're not fighting us. They, they know what's coming now. They know what these bananas are all about. They're backing away. They're piling up in dumb yat. Right, this army here is trying to sneak through. Where are they going? You know, I'm kind of okay with letting them through. Yeah, and let's focus on taking their settlements because they can't defend. Well, they, they can't take any of ours. Once we, now that we've got a few banana men in there, they don't stand a chance. Alright then, get on the bridge. Now, I've learnt my lesson. We've got a lot of friendly fire, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send just one banana us to attack this massive three stack army here. How many troops are these 150 banana us up against? Uh, 3,000. Four, four and a half thousand, roughly, just a bit more. Can they handle it themselves? Alright, soldiers, line up. Please don't get any friendly fire. Right, look at the range on that as well. They're not going to get close. And they're all going to come from the same angle as well. Alright, you know what to do? Wait until they're in range. Right, they're in range. Here we go. The bananas. The nuke unit. Can they handle all four and a half thousand troops themselves? With just a few bananas. In come the shots. Boom, they're exploding. Bananas going all over the place. This is what one unit does. Oh, we got the general. Oh, just look at all the bananas go up. Come on, right, they're really starting to land now. This is where we start to see it get nuclear. <laughs> oh no, we're getting friendly fire. All that devastation. It's not as deadly as it was um, the last time I tried it. <laughs> just, I saw the banana just fly off to an angle and get them. Alright, that's the first wave gone, I think. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. They're trying to charge at us, and I, I think that's the only hope. Just getting loads of cavalry and charge. They might actually do it here. Oh no, that's a little bit close. If we fire now, we're just going to get ourselves. I'm not that confident about this. <laughs> we're just going to get friendly fire. Or get picked off by their missile units. Oh, we might actually lose this battle because of a few missile cavalry that made it. No, they've got the cavalry charging us. I think we'll actually lose this battle. I thought we would have won for sure after seeing that first wave, but... No, it seems like they got us. Yeah, more cavalry coming in. As soon as they get close to us like that, there's nothing we can really do. But we completely obliterated the first army. 
Um, Alright, send all the troops in now then. Yeah, let's fight this one. Oh, they're already in range. Ooh, that could be a little problematic. Right, let's try to get some archers over there. Alright, everyone's in range. Everyone's about to fire. Destroy them. We're going to get a lot of friendly fire though. That's the main problem of these units. In come the first bananas. Coming in like fireworks. Oh, I'd hate to be one of these. Having to walk into all that. Come on, banana the place up. There we go. Oh. <laughs> now that's the nuke I was waiting for. There it is. Maybe it just didn't go off the last time. Oh, look at all those bananas. My PC's dying. I think we killed the general. And they're still coming in, all those bananas. Right, two generals dead, good. Right, you can now fire. Pull my general back a little bit. Oh, we lost a lot of troops. Oh, they're all still going off, they're just bombarding. They're bombarding nothing, just their own troops at this point, right. Actually, try and get out of there. Just retreat back a little bit. Reset. Right, let those archers there deal with the problem coming back way. Let's take a look at all the dead. There we go. What a beautiful sight this is. Right, uh, uh, are these guys ready? Yeah, they're ready to fire. Right, let's see how just the standard archers are going to do. Boom. Complete squad wipe. Yeah, keep that up. Anyone left? Nope. <laughs> yeah, finish off those. Oh, I've done the fire the entire thing on just these. <laughs> well, I guess I'll kill them all. We're not going to see this squad return. Like, each one of these bananas is going to drop to the ground and explode and probably release more bananas. <laughs> more bananas coming in on the cavalry. Boom! Oh, we killed the general. You know, I, th I thought there might have been a chance he might have survived that, but... <laughs> Apparently not. And look at all the ammo we still got left as well. Oh, if everyone fires at those, that could actually be a problem. Right, hold fire, hold fire. Right, I'll allow everyone to fire again. There we go. Fire that well back on. We've just got to wait for this final army to arrive now. We've lost 43% to friendly fire. We killed 62%. Surely if you were one of these troops here, you would already be routing. Like, surely you won't want to charge into this after seeing what's just happened. Seeing all those bananas. Like, they're trying the cavalry thing where they just charge at us. But then in come the bananas. Boom. <laughs> yep, that's them going, oh, but they got so close, they're just going to get friendly fire now. Right, come on, kill the cavalry, they're the main problem. Oh, they're firing back at us. Not anymore. <laughs> I, I actually think these banana archers are some of my favourites, because they don't get friendly fire. Not, not in the way the other ones do. So the, the weaker ones might actually be my favourite here. Right, there we go, we've cleared them all out, but oh, there's one, never mind. There was one there. Right, now it's just the infantry. Finish off these. We're already destroying them. 
Oh, we lost half our troops. Oh, just look at them all exploding there. Now, they're all actually missing. <laughs> what a waste of tropical fruit this is. There we go, we got the nukes going off, a big circle of them. It's mostly missed though, I think. I guess, it, yeah, I guess it got them. And there we go, we got the win. Let's just chase them all away now. There we go, good job soldiers. Right, leave the battle be Yeah, we're starting to kill our general already. Get out of there. Uh, 3,200 kills, we lost about 20 troops. Well, we actually lost more than 20, but they killed 20. With their missile cavalry. We lost about a thousand of it. Right, walk into Dumyat. And we can, we should be able to replenish. Ah, soon, soon we will be, a couple of turns. Right, so that's our settlement now. Where do we go next? I think... We'll send our bananas and general just to try and take Alexandria. See if they can do it themselves. That's our faction leader as well. See if they can do it himself with just some banana men. Okay, next turn. What's Egypt's response going to be? Oh, we actually got to build battering rams. Surely the nukes should be able to bring down the gates. Ah, oh, well. Alright, we got Santa here. Let's take this settlement. Yeah, we, we got to build siege equipment. Alright, bring an archer unit just to hurry up. Ah. Right, we'll go for a ladder. Yeah, ladders should be fine. Ah, they're willing to fight us on the field. Interesting. They brought in some reinforcements. Good luck. Oh, bananas coming in. I can't even see the enemy in the fog. <laughs> the battle's only just begun. I'm already dead. I didn't even see this happen. Alright, keep the bananas not firing because they're just going to get a lot of fun to fire again. Well, there's their army gun. All those bananas aiming for that one guy. And he's still going. I think they got him. <laughs> yeah, they got him. <laughs> yeah, good riddance. <laughs> right, yeah, they should have broken. And we've got cavalry left over here. Right, come on. Don't let them get close. Oh, they're getting close. Yeah, we're getting a bit of friendly fire. Come on, finish when we should break. Right, there we go, they're all gone. Right, this is their second army. I kind of just want to see how much our banana archers can do by themselves. They don't seem to be coming for us, so we'll, we'll move forwards then. Just to see, can they do it themselves or do we actually need the banana men? Right, they're in range. Take out the archers first. Our banana arch is enough. Right, looks like it. Right, now take out the missile cavalry. Are they just going to stand there and let us do it? Boom, that's that squad gone. Next. <laughs> yeah, I think banana archers can probably handle this entire campaign. We don't need the nuked ones. Boom, all dead. <laughs> right, we've got one more squad left. And boom, there we go. What do we have? Oh, they've got some more. Okay, let's just take out those. But yeah, this might actually be the best strategy way how to do it with minimizing losses. Just spam out a load of those. Just for simple banana matches, they seem to be able to do the job. Alright, good. And that settlement is now ours. Alright, let's just exterminate population as always, and what do we actually get, so... Yeah, just a very basic settlement. Uh, can we train our crossbows? Right, it's now time to take Tanta down here. We've got two ladders. Yeah, we should be able to deal with this. 
cavalry, spears, ooh, some ballistas. Right, so this is something I'm more wanting to test. Ah, we can't actually attack. We can't attack the walls with it. Yeah, but we can attack the units on the walls, and will it do damage? Can we do damage to the wall? In come the bananas. No, it crashed. Oh. Alright, stop recording. Oh, my guess is, right, it was because of the walls. Um, maybe that was bugged or something. If the views are good, I will load up the auto save and we'll continue the let's play and see how we can do. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with that. That was really fun to play, uh, that campaign. Um, sadly, it did crash and yeah, but if people do want to see more, I will be happy to continue. We might have to, we'll have to approach uh, sieges differently, but I'll think of a way. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed and yeah, the download tutorial will start now. Alright, so here is the very basic installation t tutorial for the banana mod on the campaign. So you don't want to download it from the link below and then open it up as a WinRAR archive. If you don't know what WinRAR is, search it on YouTube and yeah, just download it. Um, so here we are. So what you want to do, you've got the data folder here. There is a readme that should come with this also, uh, but you want to get the data folder and extract it to wherever your Crusades file is installed, so wherever Medieval 2 is. Mine is in Data, Steam li Library, Steam Apps, Common, Medieval 2, Talk to War, uh, into Mods, and then click on Crusades, wherever it is, there it is, and then click OK, and it will extract it into there. OK, but you're not done there. There's one more thing that you've got to do. All right, you've got to go into Steam, and then right-click on Medieval 2 Total War, go into Properties, Set Launch Options, and then you type this. Dash, dash, I, O, dot, file, underscore, first. Then click OK, close this, and then you can launch the Crusades. Whenever you're done with the mod, all you have to do is, and, and you want to play just something normal, like normal Crusades, just delete this line of text. Same again, and then like that. And then if you want to play it again, just type in that line of text, and that's that's how you decide between normal crusades and the mod. Hope hope you found this useful. Um, if you've got any issues, comment down below. And I probably won't be able to help as I'm not the smartest person in the world. Well, I am, but not at mods. But somebody might be there to try and help. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and goodbye. <laughs>